Hi, I'm Jerry Lane and I'm an advisor at Ben Haven Museum. And today I'm talking about my favorite character. I hate calling him a dummy, but it's Jerry Mahoney. And Jerry Mahoney was pretty much the first, the first figure that I got personally involved with. Watching Paul Winchell on television at some point, I, I didn't know him. But I was about eight and a half, nine years old and uh, watched his show all the time. My father knew Winchell's accountant and arranged for me to come to the show and see the show in person and meet Winchell after the show. Well, I took the subway from Brooklyn to Manhattan for the first time by myself, eight and a half years old. My mother dropped me off in Brooklyn. My father met me at the other end of the line and took me to the studio. We watched the show and uh, waited with bated breath. We went down the hall. Paul was still in his robe, still makeup, still sweaty. We were introduced. As I said, I was eight and a half. He said, so let's see you do something. I didn't say that I brought anything. I had not brought anything with me. And I don't even think he had knucklehead yet at that point in his TV career. So he turned around and handed me Jerry Mahoney. So he had me do something, and I don't know what I said. Oh, yeah. Oh, gee whiz, Lynch, that's good. Oh, are you, what are you doing? You know, whatever I said. And it was pleasant. And my father felt it was time for us to not intrude any further on this TV star. And so he said, thank you very much for seeing us. And we started to walk out and I said, thank you. We were part way out the door when I heard, hey kid, you want to be a ventriloquist? I said, yes, sir. Now he was about 26 at that age, that time on television. He said, you want to be a ventriloquist? I said, yes, sir, I do. He said, then we'll see you here every week at my show and we'll talk about working about it. And that led to a, a friendship and a working relationship and a, I became his protege. I came to the studio every week. Now my parents were, didn't mind my taking the subway back and forth for Paul Winchell. Uh, Jerry Mahoney, he started doing ventriloquism when he was very young. He had polio when he was young. So now he's in high school and decided to make his own ventriloquist dummy. And he was aided by his professor, teacher, whose name was Jero, J-E-R-O, Jero Megan. From Jero Megan, he got Jerry Mahoney. So the first Jerry Mahoney he made in Woodshop in high school. Well, he won the major Bose Amateur Hour on radio and was traveling with them and was in Chicago. And of course, a ventriloquist in that era, around 1937, in Chicago knew about Frank Marshall and he went to Frank Marshall and he said I'm in town for two weeks could you make me a professional dummy and Marshall said come back in two weeks I'll have something for you be $35 so two weeks he came back and he told me he said I hated the dummy Frank Marshall made for me it wasn't what I was looking for but he had one sitting there already finished that just called to me. That was that was the Jerry Mahoney I wanted that he didn't carve. So instead he just left that one that Frank had made and you started using the other Jerry Mahoney. There was a point where he and his he and his wife were, were moving and he called me and he said, Jerry, we're gonna be moving. Uh, can I leave a couple of things over at your house until we get settled? I said yeah. And so the next eight, nine months, I had all of Paul Winchell's characters sitting on the couch in my office. And this is the first public time I'm saying I would pick them up, look in the mirror, and go, oh, gee whiz, Lynch, uh, your hand feels a little funny. Uh, you don't look right, Lynch. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And I'm doing the thing with the eyes and doing the head swirl that he would do and everything. And, and they'd become a lot, and, and my wife Judy would go, are you playing with them again? No, 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 just passing by and we're talking, you know. 
uh, and I would pick up Knucklehead and we'll say, well, how you doing, Mr. Winkle? Well, uh, your surroundings look a little different, you know. I just play with them. And then one day, the call had to come. Jerry, I gotta pick up the dummies. We're all set. I got a place for them. So I picked them up. But for eight, eight, nine months, Jerry and Knucklehead and the gang lived with me. So, when you come to the museum, make sure you get to the W.S. Burger Building and see Jerry Mahoney and the other styles of Jerry Mahoney that were mass produced. And down the other end, Knucklehead. And this is their home and they're glad to see you as we all always are. Thank you.